All right, I'm out here in a pretty popular early season spot going for some fresh migratory striped bass. I'm sure some of you will recognize where I am. Water conditions are like unbelievably clear, man. Like look how freaking crystal clear this is. You can see the lure working like almost perfectly. But yeah, it is, uh, I still think I'm too early to be honest. Um, one, there's, I'm the only person at the spot. So that's usually a red flag that the season hasn't quite started yet. And I just don't think the water temps are quite there. I'm seeing absolutely no sign of bait, no sign of life. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, who knows? I'm just kind of babbling to myself here. But what, I, what I'm really trying to get at is I have no idea how this trip's going to go. If I catch one fish, I'll be happy. So let's see if we can get on the board here with a migratory striped bass. It's that time of year where they're just going to be start trickling in. But I could be early by a few days or maybe even a week. And yeah, I got a nice light setup for this style of fishing. This is the seven foot Akuma SRT Inshore Elite, medium heavy. I got it paired with a 4000 Akuma ITX reel. Really nice light setup. It's gonna be perfect for catching small bass. I can cast just fine. I mean, I do have the wind at my back, so that's definitely helping out, but it's the perfect setup that it's light enough to not horse these small fish in, but it's heavy enough to cast and, and get it in front of them. So really happy with the setup. And shout out again to Akuma for, for hooking me up this season. Um, but yeah, let's, let's catch some freaking fish, man. It's been way too long. Oh, look at that. Look at that, school of bait fish, let's go. Oh, that's the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Oh, that is so awesome. I can't really tell. What is that, peanut bunker? What is that? It's like, kind of looks like peanut bunker, but that's too early for that. that. That's a spirit razor right there. So maybe, just maybe, there's like just a few striped bass lingering by. Oh, God, I hope so. Hope the camera picked that up. I'm sure it did. This water's crystal clear. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Nice. Tiny fish, but let's go. He is absolutely tiny, but he's got a couple lice on him. He's healthy looking. That's an eight inch fish, but he's fresh. Let's go. Oh, that was a whack. Oh, 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 he's back. Oh, he's back, baby. <laughs> you missed the hit, you came back for seconds. Oh yeah. Oh man, I have missed these fish so freaking much. Oh yeah. It's actually number four of the day, but I only got two on camera. I think this is the biggest one I've got so far, which is sad. Covered in, not covered in lice, got two lice. I don't want to sound weird or anything, but I really want to give this fish a smooch. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy they're back. Let's go. Yeah, so these literally have to be like the first big wave of fresh fish. And I would be surprised if there's anything over 15 inches mixed in here. I think these are like the first, first, oh, there's a hit. Oh man, bite is getting good, dude. There we go. Dude, I've been used to getting skunked so many times in April that it's weird catching fish one after the other. Another really small fish, but I'll take it. They're loving this, so I'm throwing this little green zoom bait out, or chartreuse, whatever it's called. Another tiny guy. This might be the smallest of the day, but whoa. This is what I'm talking about when the sea lice. Look at his tail. He is covered. You can see him moving around. Oof. Apparently it doesn't affect the fish that much, but I wouldn't want that on me. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't think there's fish over 15 inches in here. I haven't got one over 12 inches today. That's... 
That's my fifth fish actually of the day. Oh, oh man. Dude, I must just be on a school of them right now. Holy crap, this is awesome. My lure is in the water for two seconds. Another, <laughs> they're all so small, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, he freaking inhaled it too. These fish are fired up. They just came. Oh man, he really inhaled it. Got it out though. Another tiny guy. I can't complain when it's fish after fish though. My lure was in the water for like three seconds and that thing hit it. And I'm hooked up again. This is insane. This is ridiculous. This is like one after the other. I just gotta be on a big freaking school of them because they are just chewing right now. Like I said, for about the sixth time this video, they're not gonna be big fish, but that's okay. I'll take this for mid-April. Other one, see ya. I think that's my sixth fish of the day. I got. That's two in a row on back to back casts. Let's see if I can make it three. Come on, baby. Nope. I have not had a lot of missed hits, which is surprising because these fish are so small. They're like aggressively taking it. They're not just nipping at the tail. But sometimes when these fish are, you know, sub 12 inches, they'll just kind of nip at the tail, but. One of these fish literally, I almost got hooked it because it inhaled it so much. So they're, they're here and they're hungry. Might be a little low on the bite here. Oh, oh, missed that hit. Let's see if I can get that fish to hit again. Yep. Oh no, dude, I stink. See if I can see him followed it in. No. I might have tagged him there too. With the hook. Come on. Yep. Oh no. Fudge. I stink. All right, I wanted to do a quick outro to this video because I'm pretty sure I just witnessed like the exact first day that uh, this big school of fresh migratory fish actually moved into Rhode Island. And I say this because I was there a day before this video was filmed. Um, same spot, like same conditions, same tide, same time, using like everything was the same, but minus the wind, the wind was a little different and nothing dude like three straight hours of just freezing my ass off and getting skunked and i didn't see anyone else catch anything like it was just a frustrating day and that's why i was so surprised in this video to just start getting fish i think i got like three fish like back to back to back and it was just like literally a light switch and this the bite turned on and there was just an abundance of fish there feeding like it was insane um like I granted they're 10 to 12 inch fish, but to just see it go from absolute dead to like, I wasn't the only guy catching fish there. Everyone was catching fish there and I got fish off camera. I think this was like almost an 11 fish day. Like it was, it was a good bite. So just to go from like absolutely nothing dead to this level of fish. Like I literally think I've witnessed like just the first big push of of schooly bass like migrating into Rhode Island. So that was pretty cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe they were there the day before and they just weren't chewing, but this was definitely, as far as I know, the first time this month that this many fresh migratory stripers were just actively feeding like that. So that was cool. That was cool to witness and cool to film. Um, so yeah, it's only gonna get better from here. So I'm gonna be hitting it like a freaking maniac, man. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's watching and, uh, stay tuned for a lot more footage this season.